Hi everybody, it's Audrey, and today I am working on a page for uh, Hip Kit Club using the May Kit. And our focus is for today is on quilted designs on scrapbook layouts. So I quilt inspired designs, I should say. Um, you could use dies for this, you could use punches for this, you could just hand cut shapes. So I actually do quilt in addition to scrapbooking and I have a whole bunch of um, quilt designs pinned and I went with one of my favorite designs and it's called the kaleidoscope pattern and basically it is um, squares well, a lot of quilting is based on squares but the inside of the squares has um, an octagon ma made out of triangles so I actually just cut four triangles of a light color and four triangles of a solid pattern and well the four triangles of a solid pattern are on the or on the square. So you can see when I put the four triangles on a square, um, if you just look at the shape within one little square, it looks like kind of like an octagon <clears throat> with the alternating um, light pattern and then uh, solid color paper. So I cut these, I actually designed this in Silhouette Studio um, and cut out the triangles to fit in a two by two square. So I just drew some triangle shapes in Silhouette um, and drew a, a two by two square and had the triangles fit and then I just cut them out with a whole bunch of different pattern papers. And I'm just arranging colors now. So you'll see that the background squares, I have, you know, like a white, a white light pattern and then a solid and then a white light pattern and then a solid. And then on top of the squares, I have the triangles with the opposite pattern. So if I had a white square, I'm using a solid, um, darker colored triangles. And I'm just alternating that. And then I'm scattering around some of the colors just to make sure I get a good, good distribution of colors here and um, just playing around with with that. So I love this pattern. If you, and if, if, if you want to see more about this pattern, just go to Pinterest and type in kaleidoscope quilt. And there's some, there's some, uh, also an amazing secondary pattern that you get, like when you put these squares together and you start seeing other shapes because of the way the edges interact with each other. So it's super cool, one of my favorite patterns. I've yet to make a quilt in this pattern, but this is really inspiring me to do so. So this is a little bit time consuming, but it, it, it's pretty simple, but um, but it is time consuming. So once I got all those arranged how I wanted, I went through and I glued down every single triangle and I, I spared you the um, the video of that because it's just me gluing down paper, um, those shapes as I had them laid out. And I thought um, with kind of the colors here and the this design of this quilt, that something a little frilly was in order. So I took out this um, punch that I have. It's a border punch. I think it's a Martha Stewart punch and it makes a corner. Um, I have a corner punch and then I have the, like the border punch too. And I'm going to tuck that um, behind. I thought about going all the way around but I think it looks a little bit more modern when you have just little bits of it scattered around. So I'm auditioning some background papers here. I didn't really, that pink was okay. I wasn't a fan of it for the background paper because I felt it just kind of pulled away from the design a little bit. So I think I'm going to go um, just with the white background, with the white uh, border. I like white on white. I, I love using like die cut or punch designs on a white border. Or on, I'm sorry, on a white background. So I have this cute picture of my pup. And I don't often scrap my, my pets very much, but she's adorable. She's a good girl. She's getting old. She's 14. She's still got a lot of spunk in her, though. Um, so this little, um, what do you call this? Like rosette that says stay wild. Perfect for my doggy picture. Um, I also pulled out a piece of chipboard. I think that is from Simple Stories. And I'm just looking through all of the stuff in the kit this month. I have, I have all of the kits scattered out on my desk. So I have the embellishment kit. I have the Project Life kit. I have the main kit and it's all over. So I don't know what's coming from what kit at this point. Um, so I'm just pulling what I can. I liked this little, I, oh, I did pull off a couple little stickers from the Creative Devotions. I put them around the edge. I do end up moving those. They're just a few tiny dots. I just wanted a, a, something, but I move them and I don't show that in the video, but in the final product you can see. I really love these rose gold glittery um, sayings and little elements here. So I'm going to throw a couple of those on. Heart, of course. And I feel like I need to create my visual triangle with this gold. So I'm trying to decide what where else to put some gold. So I just decided to do it up in the top left corner. So I'm going through all of the other things in the kit, the die cuts, the stickers. Um, 
I forgot about the fray stickers. I just thought about that. A <laughs> um, couple other things. This little tag that says remember this was perfect. So I do add my journaling to that. You don't see it because it's stuck behind my photo, but um, the purple was perfect. The purple, by the way, most of the purple in the like the quilted design was a piece of purple cardstock, as was the blue as well. So because the design was kind of busy um, and I had a lot of patterns and colors there, I decided just to go really minimal with the embellishments. Um, you know, sometimes less is more and if you work hard in a design like this or you have, you know, something really intricate, I think you should let it stand out. So before I start gluing my squares on, I'm going to find the center of my paper. So I'm just drawing some pencil lines here and measuring with my T-square to find the center. And then I'll start gluing these down from the middle out. And I, I drew the pencil lines and I went back and erased them a little bit just so that they were a little bit lighter so you don't, so they don't show at all. When I, even though these things are glued right close to each other, I just didn't want any of the dark pencil line to show. I had considered um, popping up a couple of the squares, so leaving a couple flat and then a couple popped up. But I knew I was going to stitch over them because what's a quilting design without stitching? Um, so I decided against popping them up and so I'm just going to glue them all down flat and glue my little um, punched pieces, punched border pieces around the edges too. Okay, so then I went and stitched, <clears throat> excuse me, and you can see there I stitched just diagonally through each square. So. Um, yeah, just an X through, well, I, they're continuous lines, so from the top left corner to the bottom right corner is one continuous line. So I just stitched a whole bunch of diagonal lines in both directions. I love how that looks. It looks actually, I mean, it looks legit like a quilt. <laughs> it's actually, it's really pretty color palette for a quilt too. <clears throat> so I'm going to back my photo here, and I created a little packet with a piece of scrap paper so I can stick that purple, remember this tag there on my right, so I just glued a piece of scrap paper to the back of my photo. You can see that they're in pink. That's my scrap paper. And the tag fits right in that pocket. So I can add my journaling and pull it out later. And now I'm going to go back and place on the, um, the little embellishments like I had them. Some stickers down there in the bottom. That Stay Wild sticker. Putting these leaves back in and this Hello. I decided to go over there on the left with that. <clears throat> And I only add a little bit of gold mist and a little title here with some more gold letters. I first put the title up there, but I did not like how far it went to the right. And I thought it was too in line with the word hello. So I decided to put it um, going vertically along the left side. And that's, no, is that it? Nope. What am I doing? Oh, my gold splatters. Yeah, gold splatters. And then that's it, I think. So be sure to check out Facebook, uh, Hip Kit Club Facebook page, and the blog, Hip Kit Club blog today, to see more quilted designs from some of the other design team members. And uh, just go to Pinterest, look up fun quilt designs. There's so much inspiration out there. And there is the finished page. I really love how this quilted design comes out. It makes me want to go to my sewing machine right now and start working with fabric <laughs> and make a quilt. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.